Just about every year I do a reacting to my YouTube comments video and you guys absolutely love these. I'm always asked to do another one. So here I am doing another one for you. <laughs> Starting off with a comment that almost made me tear up. Hi, Victoria. I just wanted to tell you how much I love your videos and your best friend Emmyologies videos. You two always make me smile. I have autism and anxiety, but your videos put my mind at peace. Thank you for making me smile. That is one of the reasons why I create videos. Um, sometimes uh, there are hard days making videos and I want to quit altogether, but then I get a comment like that and then I know why I continue making content. Oh, this one, this... This is a pet peeve of mine. I will get, we'll get into it in a second. I'm sorry, but washing hamster items slash hamster pee in your sink where you wash dishes and keep the plates and cups you eat and drink from, then to put dirty hamster items in the oven where you put food, this is really unhygienic. I don't like people like this. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't. Items go in the sink to be washed to remove bacteria. Items go in the oven to kill bacteria. Why do you think we cook meat? You can't eat raw meat, you'll get sick. Why do you cook it? To kill bacteria. Why do we wash our forks and plates and then reuse them? If it didn't clean them, we wouldn't wash them. Do you go to a restaurant where they wash all of their stuff and where thousands and thousands of people have put those forks and knives in their mouths? Do you sit there and go, oh my God, that's disgust. No, no, because it gets cleaned. I've also seen people get super upset if you take your cat's plate or dog's dish and put it in the dishwasher with your plates. Like, does nobody understand the purpose of a dishwasher and how it like actually cleans things? Okay, this one is a long one. Okay, so I know that you all love hamsters. Obviously, what's not to love? However, by telling people the reasons why they shouldn't get a hamster is the reasons why these poor little things are kept in stores. I would want to encourage people to get a hamster. That way, if they aren't in a pet store somewhere, I know and understand that we can't save them all. Although um, most of us certainly want to, but we can give one a good life because any life for a hamster has to be better than the way that they keep you for babies in pet stores in little cages and a bunch of them together. So although I see your point, I would also encourage people to get one no matter what your budget. I think everyone deserves to have a cuddly friend that will make them happy and that you can make the hamster happy. So this is kind of a contradiction. Although I see your point. <laughs> Just because someone takes a hamster and buys it from the pet store does not mean it's going to have a better life. I can guarantee you that. There are lots of situations where I see pet owners with hamsters. That hamster would have had a better life if it stayed in the pet store, if I'm being completely honest. I have seen hamsters who are put in bare bins with literal pizza crusts for the food. And there's like five different Syrian hamsters in there. I'm sorry, is that, what, how is that any better? And encouraging people to go out and get a pet that may not suit their lifestyle can lead to the pet being neglected, which once again, no better than a pet store. And if you don't have a budget for a hamster and all of the things it needs, it's not gonna be thriving because if you can't afford the things it needs, love does not make up for necessary needed items. So no, encouraging every single person in this world to get a hamster, not a good idea. You like guinea pig. I mean, I, I like guinea pigs. Do I want to own them myself? No. Just discovered this channel. I have so much joy from this for some reason. This means a lot to me because a lot of the times um, when I make my videos and I'm editing them, I have become so hard on myself and I will sit and critique my stuff for so long and I will be like, you know, why is anybody watching this? You know, this is so boring. Like, I talk too much, I say this too much, I, like, I'm very, very hard on myself. Um, and so when I see comments of people being like, hey, like, I, I adore your videos, they bring me joy, they calm me down, it reminds me that, like, I'm looking at my videos from myself, who sees myself every single day, I have to deal with myself, I have to listen to myself 24-7, it's gonna be completely different for somebody else 
who doesn't interact with me daily. Hi, Victoria. I just wanted to say I'm really grateful for your channel. When I first got my hamster almond back in October, she was unfortunately in a 20 gallon tank and I did not know that it was wrong until I watched your channel. As soon as I watched almost all of your videos, I immediately went to go buy a bin cage for almond and now she's happier than ever and my dad is building a cage for her so she has even more room. Thank you so much, Victoria. See, here's the thing. There's a lot of people who will jump on somebody for upgrading to a bin cage because there aren't many bin cages that are gonna meet 800 square inches of floor space or 700. So a lot of the times they're around 500 to 600 square inches of floor space. But what I believe is that somebody going from a critter trail to that size is always going to be better. And because they were willing to upgrade to a bin cage like that, and they're already actively involved in researching hamster care um, and things like that, they're eventually gonna wanna upgrade more. Sometimes it just takes time for somebody to do that. And like this person said, their dad is now building them a hamster cage. So for all the people that get upset at somebody for slowly upgrading like that, I there's, no, there's really not an issue. No shot that I can afford a cage that big. I can promise you, you probably can. And if you can't, probably shouldn't get a hamster. So this one that was not in English, so I did have to translate it, but they said, I know that hamsters should not eat meat because eating meat is not good for hamsters and healthy for hamsters. <laughs> hamsters are omnivores, um, whether you like it or not. In the wild, they're eating insects and they sometimes will even eat other small animals. So yeah, they do eat meat. <laughs> I was breeding one time dwarf hamster with other species of hamster. I can promise you, you probably weren't. Um, and if you were, it was a winter white and Campbellsdorf because those are the only two species that are possible of interbreeding with each other. You can't breed a Robrowski with a Syrian. You can't breed a Chinese hamster with a Campbell's. You can't breed a Syrian hamster with a winter white. It doesn't work. They are different species of animals. That's like breeding a dog and a cat together. It doesn't work. My hamster is mean. Can you help? Unfortunately, I don't think there is really much I can do. Your hamster may not necessarily be mean but they may not like human interaction they could have past trauma they could also have a neurological issue um, i know a lot of hybrid dwarf hamsters have a lot of aggression issues because well they're hybrids and they weren't supposed to be um, made into hybrids but there's not really i'm not a hamster whisperer like that can someone explain to me who on earth can afford this much bedding? These pet tubers are just feeding people unrealistic <laughs> people. Please just fill a small container full of bedding off to the side and just fill a moderate amount of shavings to the rest of the enclosure. One has to buy the entire pet shop to sustain one hamster if you follow these crazy pet tubers. I can assure you it's not like it's not just pet tubers that give their hamsters the proper amount of bedding people have been doing it long before that because oh i don't know hamsters need it <laughs> the sarcastic sort of emotionalist enthusiasm is just love this <laughs> i'm so glad that you enjoy my humor and a little bit of my personality unfortunately a lot of the times i don't get to show my personality in my videos um and then sometimes when I do get to show my personality, people are absolutely horrified because they're like, who is this? We don't know her, <laughs> which is kind of true. You guys, in all honesty, you don't know me as well as you think you do. You look like Audrey from the Lorax. Okay, so I've watched the Lorax, but I don't remember what Audrey looks like. So I'm gonna look her up right now. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I should be here for Halloween one day. I don't have any of these clothes, but that would be fun. 
I used to use a hamster ball and now I don't know what to do with it, so I'll use it to transport her. That is one of the things that you can use a hamster ball for. Um, I also know people who have covered kind of the slits and then they've made it into like a little hideout type thing for their hamster. Um, I've also seen people fill it with dirt and then put like flowers in it. That is another thing you can use the hamster ball for instead of throwing it away into the landfill. Or you can just store it up in your closet for the rest of your life. And to end the video off on a good note, Hello Victoria, I'm getting my first hamster ever today. Thanks to you, I'm aware of proper care and I've made sure to provide my hamster with a thousand plus square inches of floor space and lots of enrichment. It makes me so happy when somebody is wanting a hamster and first they go and do research and they actually learn about them so that they can start off with the best care possible right away. Unlike many of us who unfortunately started out with improper care and slowly had to learn and change and improve and feel confused and guilty for using improper things when we had no clue. But either way, as long as you are now working on giving your hamster proper care, kudos to you. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye!